welcome back to uh, another one of our kids sessions. Uh, today we're going to be doing a story called The Exile and the Return. So for those of you who have been watching the stories and listening to the stories and uh, journeying with the people of God through the desert, uh, through the sand, uh, you'll know that they got to a, a place and they um, went into the desert and they built um, the tent of the tabernacle and that's where the Ark of the Covenant was and that's where they worshipped God. And then when they found their own place to stay without needing to journey anymore, they went, um, they had their city, Jerusalem, where they built uh, a temple out of stone, not a tent anymore, but um, a real temple out of stone. So that was last week's story, it was about uh, the temple and all the amazing things that were in the temple and how King Solomon built that temple. So this week we're going to be carrying on the journey of the people of God and find out what's, what happens, what's happened next. Now before we do that we're going to start with our prayer and I'm going to be uh, I'm going to put it up on the screen so that we can say it together. Now just get that up. No, nope, it's not that one. Ah, where's that one? There we are. You just missed the bottom of it a little bit. Just change that so that you can see the bottom of it. should be able to see that now I think. Right, so as we light our candle we say, oh, I don't know where that went. We light our candle and we say, the Lord is here. His spirit is with us. And then if you'd like to, pray this prayer with me. God, be in our homes and with our schools, particularly St John's, the Minster School and the other Warminster schools, as we learn to grow strong together, hand in hand, in our journey along the paths of justice. Lead us to the gift of love, the strength of friendship, and the power of respect for our neighbour. In all our challenges, guide us to trust in you, to show us the way. Amen. Now usually we have a song now but we're doing it the other way round today. So today we're going to begin with our story and then we'll have the song afterwards. So let's begin. And you remember that this is the desert. And you remember that the desert is a dangerous place. There is no food or water here. People can die in the desert. When the wind blows, the shape of the desert changes and you can lose your way. The sun is so hot in the desert that people wear many clothes to keep the sun from burning their skin. When the wind blows, the sand stings your face and hands. People need protection from the blowing sand. At night it is cold and you need many clothes 
to keep warm. The desert is a dangerous place. People do not go there unless they have to. This is Jerusalem. Here is the wall. And inside is the temple built for God. Now here are the people of God. They knew that God was in the temple, but they also thought it was the only place where you could pray to God. People thought that the wall of the city would protect them from everything. But then the Assyrians came and they attacked the city. It was a terrible time. People fought and some starved to death. Finally, the Assyrians went away. Then the Babylonians came and they did not go away. Their king wanted the city of Jerusalem for himself. They broke down the walls and they burnt the temple. They took many of the people away. Only a few people were left in the land. The soldiers marched the people away from the city. They looked back at the smoke of the burning city and wondered if they would ever see it again. As they walked through the desert they had to get up when the soldiers said, they had to eat what the soldiers said, they had to go where the soldiers said, they had to go to bed when the soldiers said. They grew weary and some died. It took a long time.
the people of God were in exile. They could not go home. When they came to Babylon, they hung their harps upon the willow trees and sang sad songs. They dreamed of Jerusalem and the temple, but they could not go back. They even faced Jerusalem when they said their prayers. But slowly, God's people began to understand that God was in this place too. God's presence came to them as they gathered to read the scriptures, to tell the old stories and to pray. The king of Babylon allowed many of God's people to work. They set up little stores and some worked for the king. It was a shock when the king of Persia came with his army and took Babylon himself. The new king began to let some of the people go back to Jerusalem. Some went with Ezra and they began to rebuild the temple. They rebuilt the walls around the city. people of God were no longer in exile. They could go home again. Do you know what happened? Not all of them went home. Now they knew God was in the strange and foreign land. And now that they knew that, some stayed because God was there too. Now I wonder which part of this story do you like the best? Which do you think is the best bit? I wonder what my part is most important. Maybe they're the same thing, the bit that you like the best and the bit that's most important. Or maybe they're different things. So maybe spend some time thinking about that. Which is the most important part of the story? think matters the most. Now I wonder where you are in the story or what part of the story is about you.
And I wonder, is there any part of the story we could leave out and still have all the story that we need? So now we're going to have our song. I'm going to shuffle over here and hopefully my legs haven't gone to sleep too much. And I'm going to do, hopefully do my trick again where I can move the slides and play guitar at the same time so we'll see if I can manage to do that oh and I think my guitar is in the way of the words there we go this is called the temple song we'll finish by saying this prayer together. God bless our schools and homes that working together and playing together we may learn to love you and love one another. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you always and with those you love. Amen. 
Thank you for joining me. I will see you again next week. Have a lovely day.